Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 2 of the Franz Let's Play. Yesterday we started mobilizing some of our armies and preparing for a war of Germany, which seems possible, but uh, Germany didn't continue attacking Luxembourg, only kept bombing them with their artillery. We on the other hand built this up to level 3 both of them, and prepared a large amount of armies, researched level 3 artillery, and uh, built out of infantry and artillery. So we have a good amount of units prepared for the front, and I believe we'll be able to hold if we really try to, which of course we will. These are the front ports, I also started building up industry, uh, I didn't record that, I forgot about it, so I did it right after I stopped recording, but uh, there it is. As you can see, built a lot of interceptors too, we have a good 5 over here, I'm gonna send this here, and we got a beautiful 9 interceptors. I will be able to use these for... Uh, any online players really, Italy or Germany, we'll see how active Germany will be though. I'm gonna build a couple more interceptors level 2 now, and then I'm just gonna upgrade those that are left and we're good for the whole game basically. Well, we're also not doing too well on resources because well, we're lacking on goods, but that's not that bad. It's gonna be alright, so that's the main thing. Still building some artillery, but yeah, we're basically done, there's one more here, I think that's all, some infantry too, so yeah, those are gonna come in a bit later. I'm also gonna prepare some more artillery production, uh, let's say here in Lyon, just queue it up. But generally we have enough to hold this front, so that's great, this is built up to level 3, and I can really just put a bunch of uh, units here on this line, on the Maginot itself. So we have 12 infantry, I'm gonna try to get another, another 2 extra on each, uh, but yeah, probably not gonna work out because there's more needed here. So first thing I'm actually gonna do is put artillery here, so 2 on each, so there we go, 2 here, and there's already one here and one here, so I'm gonna send only one to each of those. So there we go, and then 2 over to Nancy. And we're also gonna send another 2 here, another 2 to each of these, so we need another 8 uh, uh, artillery, which shouldn't really be that big of a problem to make. It's a good amount, but not too much. We're gonna be able to handle it, I believe. We're really gonna lack uh, goods though, and goods are pretty expensive already, so that's not nice. But it's gonna be alright, believe me that. We're still gonna keep up our production and we're gonna be able to hold in case of war already, probably. Especially with our Air Force doing rather well. It's only gonna do better though. Germany usually uh, scales down with time, while France stays about the same strength, but goes a little bit up, I'd say. You got a bigger economy than, than the Germany, so yeah. Surprisingly enough, you do, probably because of your colonies. For the other units we have here, well, I'm probably just gonna send them to here to reinforce uh, ben the Benlux. Right, because that's gonna be needed, so two of these, and we'll really just uh, try to make this line a lot stronger. That's gonna be the main goal here. So there we go, just a couple of units on each each tile, like four or something, and that's gonna be great. With these very strong forts that uh, may then do 45% less damage, well they're uh, quite strong, so we don't really need that many units. So there we go, we still got some uh, infantry spare. So I'm gonna put one here, we're going to have each tile pretty damn secured, and another one here, that'd be a good idea, same with this, yeah, should be possible, yeah, very much so, seems like it will be, and there we go, that's good, that should be enough to hold the line, we're still gonna lack some artillery, but that's alright, uh, soon by tomorrow I believe we'll actually have enough, and with diplomacy from Italy, which they are active people, what the hell does that mean? Well, I have no idea, but uh, we're gonna take it as a threat, of course. So I'm gonna prepare some more forces in there in case of a possible war in the future. For now though, this is a secured front, which is great. Research-wise, well, we really don't have that much to do. Let's research better infantry, though, that's gonna be useful. And uh, better median tanks, I suppose. Going to start producing some of those, uh, while this isn't producing anything, well, it still is, but soon won't be, and the Marseille too. We're gonna make some median tanks in them, since we have plenty of resources, and they have tank plans which we can use uh, to make out of median tanks, so we're gonna do just that, we're gonna schedule a lot, so yeah. As much as we can. So we're gonna get a good amount of those. 
till tomorrow. So let's schedule them. There we go. Both Paris and uh, Marseille too. I'm actually gonna send it to the south here to Lyon and these ones can stay in Marseille. So you can have them uh, at disposal for the Italian front if needed. I should probably also build up uh, forts here, like these are level 3 but here and here would also be great to connect the Maginot line and uh, the southern front, the Alps. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but uh, talking about that, well, we might want to go on the offensive at some point, possibly very soon since Germany seems inactive, believe it or not, I guess we're gonna see. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep building industry if I have a build, yes I have. So we're gonna keep building industry up quite a bit, like all of these double cities I'm gonna build them up to a higher level so I can get a lot more economic power and a lot more production, that's gonna be extremely helpful so we're gonna do just that and we have the resources at least so far, well rare materials are running out and the oil too sort of but uh, we're only gonna need like 2400 rare mats here, I'm just gonna buy some, they're extremely cheap, holy Fucking hell, they are so cheap, 1.5 for both. So when you see something like this, you wanna take uh, advantage of it. So let's take all of this, that's gonna be a 8k, like that's almost nothing and I have plenty of money, I'm not really gonna use much of it, so we're gonna just buy an insane amount for the future. So there we go, and uh, yeah, let's do that, boom. Yeah, I can do even more oil, so uh, I like, I want to keep some money because units spend money too so let's do this and there we go we have plenty of oil and rare mats now those are gonna uh, help a lot yeah that's gonna be great for the future anyway that's about it our air force is looking all right it's still level one but we're making a lot and they're gonna be level two soon once we upgrade them and same for the other units here I get level 4 infantry and level 3 artillery and make a lot more artillery and prepare for the southern front and whatnot. So first we secure our position in Europe and our borders and then we can start invading with our large amounts of artillery and then we also make motorized infantry and whatnot. Medium tanks can also help for, for pushing, for attacking, for offensives. So we're definitely gonna use them. Italy is pretty weak so they won't be a threat. We can just get a couple of units to the south and we got it. Anyway, that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya!